Out of a CBS 4 News exclusive, and we first told you about this story on Saturday when a diver found a size 13 wedding ring in Lauderdale by the sea. Well, today that ring was shipped off to its rightful owner who never thought he'd see it again. CBS 4's Maggie Newland spoke with the ring's owner about the whole thing. Maggie, what's going on? Rick, Michael Sansonio didn't hold out much hope of finding something as small as a wedding ring in all this water. To make matters more difficult, take a look. This water is pretty choppy, pretty difficult to see. It gets choppier the closer you get to the pier. That's where he was standing when the ring fell in the water. He thought it was gone for good until Saturday. Packaged with care. We found a rock, a seashell that looks like a heart, starfish. He has a little bit of lardo by the sea beach sand and his treasure. A size 13 wedding band is on its way to Canada. This ring has been through a lot and I, I just cannot wait to see it put on his finger. Although she's never met the ring's owner, Lisa Maselli Capano couldn't be more excited for the special delivery and neither could he. Michael Sansonio lost his ring in January while fishing on Anglin's Pier in Lauderdale by the sea. He says it slipped off his finger through a crack in the boards and into the ocean. It was heartbroken. I kind of felt for him, you know, being unmarried myself. Seth Banks works as a parking attendant next to the pier. He says Michael alerted him to the missing ring and he promised to let him know if it turned up. Back home in Canada, Michael was doing all he could to find it. He hired a diver and someone with a metal detector. I'm a member of an online forum that specifically relates to that pier. Um, and I posted there, I said, guys, you know, anything you can do, any information, anything that you can give me. Then Saturday, divers went into the water for an Earth Day cleanup. I just figured I'd just tell some of the guys, you know, it's, it's a guy's ring out there. And you dive long enough, you'll find stuff. I found, you know, bullet lead and, and, and a, lot of, a lot of tackle. And... But this was a first for Lou Nelson, a diver of 30 years who was participating for the first time in the cleanup. And I looked down and I saw something that looked like a, like a key ring, about the size of a nickel. And I reached down to pick it up and it was actually the very top of the, of the ring. He rolls this ring on the table and it does a little spin and he's like, here you go. Lisa, who organized the cleanup, couldn't believe it when she learned the story behind the ring. She immediately called Michael. I called him and the first, he, hello, he cried. I mean, all the credit in the world goes to the people that were cleaning up the pier, the people that found the ring, Seth. I mean, all those, everybody was such a team effort. And although they're 1,500 miles apart, lots of people can't wait for this package to arrive. It's a miracle already, and I know it's going to get to him. You never give up hope. And the ring was found out there where the pier makes a T shape. Now, Michael says he will continue to wear the ring when he's fishing, but he will probably be just a little bit more careful. We're live in Lauderdale by the sea. Maggie Newland, CBS 4 News. What a great story. Maggie, wow. thank you so much.